Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a parametric uh, wall with a series of windows. This gap is going to define uh, how much we can, we can change the location of this window. So if it's zero, it's, uh, it can uh, come near the edges. Uh, the base curve is simply a curve we have drawn in Rhino. So if I type polyline, and draw a polyline here and give it to the curve uh, you can see that we can update the results uh, the total height is going to be the height of the wall we have here so let me increase the gap the gap is from the edges uh, the gap too is from the bottom so if it's zero you can see you can put the window at the bottom and if you increase the gap uh, you will have a gap from the top and the bottom uh, the location of the one is the location for the first window so you can see that I can change the location easily by moving it around here the location 2 is for the second window if you have more windows you can just give more locations uh, the height one is for the uh, first window you can see that even if I decrease that to 0 it's not going to sit on the edge because we have uh, a gap here so this is going to be the gap we have from the bottom uh, and also if I increase that to even 200 which is at the top we have that still gap we have here uh, for the both sides it's actually just for the thickness of the frame which I'm going to explain in this tutorial uh, the X and Y extend is for the texturing of the wall which I'm going to explain and we can change that for visualization uh, the width and the height is for the window so this you can see it's going to change the window for the uh, first window and the height of the window also and this one is going to change the width for the second window and height of the second window you can always change the location easily to get the final results uh, okay, let's get started and take a look at the algorithm. Uh, 